again. I uh, came upstairs from cleaning some stuff in my basement to discover that these were on my doorstep. And these are two packages I got from Modular Sound Systems or Bag End. And I'll tell you about these things in a little bit. But you can see right here, these are some E12 Custom from the Lab speakers. Well, we've got a cat here, but really what's going on is a little bit later, after maybe a week or so after getting those first two boxes, got this box. Uh, but we'll explain why in a bit. That says two E12Fs. Yeah, we got this in front of the role-playing games, but this video is not about that. Alrighty, so it's cabinet surgery time. We've taken the speakers out of our, our D12 in question. Much lighter now without speakers in it, and we'll get to that in a minute. I've taken the speakers out of one of my S12s. You know, I'd swapped the good speaker out of this bad boy, put it in, in here just to you know, see how this thing sounded, if you recall. So here's the speakers that were actually in the D12. Here's the good one. Um, it's got no masking tape on it and no names. This is the bad one with the masking tape and names. But this one, it's got some battle scars on it too. It seems a little bit chewed up as well. Here's the good uh, the speaker in my S12 cabinet, you know, which I swapped out, you know, which was working just fine because it works just fine. And okay, so they look a little different, right? And here's what Baggins sent me. Uh, I thought I was going to have to get some, you know, like a, um, a Neo speaker, and I talked to Jim at Bag End. He said, oh, no, we've actually got a few, like, special E12 speakers left, but they're kind of lab series, so they're kind of different and weird. Uh, and actually, I talked to James Hart at TalkBase, and he uh, had a couple put in his cabinet not so long ago, his, his D12. Um, these are different, clearly, than the ones that James got, just by appearance. Um, the box said E12E, so I got a little worried that it might be, like, some kind of... Uh, Elf speaker, so hopefully that's not the question, but maybe maybe the E means extra cool. But it's really interesting, speaking of extra cool, how these things were shipped. They're actually screwed to this piece of particle board, you know, like the regular speaker mount. So this thing is not going anywhere. And if you follow me in the basement past the cat, you'll see it's kind of packed in here. Quite a bit of quite a pack a bit of pack material, including the, I guess the stuff that's in their cabinet. It's pretty cool. I'll say that. And. Um, the box actually really big, and they got this thing here. That I, I, can, I guess kind of just holding it so like she sits on the box like a kill the speaker. But they're really big boxes. I'm like, geez, why are they sending me such big boxes? But they're packed really, really well. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to find out now what's going on. The other thing I've noticed is these things are deeper, you know, taller than the other speakers, and they're definitely heavier. All right, so I got these two out, and it's kind of entertaining, although these things are clearly the same that the, the decals they put on them, the little purple, classic purple stuff. Um, one's got it here, <laughs> one's got it there. Uh, but these are, I guess, ZE12Es, or E12E FRNs, and then a whole bunch of 220 over something, <laughs> whatever, you know. They are heavier, and these things have some big flipping magnets. So you can see, clearly see they're taller to a certain extent than the other ones. I don't think you can really see just how much taller. But these magnets are big and they are heavier, which is giving me a little bit of pause because the cabinet was already kind of heavy. Um, <laughs> we'll see how these things sound. I'm almost wondering if I should put them in my S12s, but we'll see. Maybe that maybe it'll be awesome. Uh, so, kind of interested to see what this whole thing ends up sounding like. And before I put these suckers in, too, I, I flipped them upside down, or at least one of them, and dramatically different than the standard E12 speaker, like deeper and different type of tone and. Kind of like more papery feeling. This is well, paper, but it just feels different. Sounds different. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So right off the bat, we can see the packing here is a lot different. I think it's different because it can be. These speakers. There's two of them. Once again, came in one box, and they're not like uh, bolted down or screwed down to large pieces of particle board or plywood. They're kind of attached like this, and they are very, very light. You can see these suckers have very different neodymium magnets than what was on the, the other speakers. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. But these, these things are phenomenally light. And we'll talk about why I decided to go with these phenomenally light speakers in a bit. We're going to put these in and see what they sound like. Here they are all wrapped up. Very, very different than the bigger bad boys. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. And our, our turtle here is me watching as well. So... This is a speaker they sent me. These are the Bag End E12Fs, which I guess, and I was not aware of, are made by Phyto. I always want to call them Fatal. I do not know if these loudspeakers are made to Bag End's designs or what. I, I think some of these other ones might be Eminence built in our specs, but I, I don't know for sure. 
Anyhow, so this sucker is the what's the the, um, the driver they've been putting in their speakers lately. The Neo driver. Seems so like five pounds. Rated for quite a few watts. Really, really light. Uh, Talked to Jim at Bag, and I guess they've been using that in the Professional series for a little while, like some of their PA stuff. And so now they're trying to put it in some of their, you know, bass and guitar cabinets. Here's the standard E12, the one that was actually in the uh, S12 cabinets, the D12 cabinets, and this is about 16 pounds, 15.9 on my bathroom scale. And here's the speakers they sent me, which we saw a little while ago. And these suckers, uh, you know, experimental lab speakers, these are 24 and a half, almost 25 pounds on the bathroom scale. These are really, really flippin' heavy. Now, the D12 cabinet is like nominally 77 pounds, which is pretty big, you know, it's pretty heavy. Uh, a little heavier than I wanted to go uh, on a single cabinet, but you know, it's doable. Uh, however, <laughs> getting these suckers in there, uh, it, you know, brought it up to like almost 100 pounds. It was not going to work for me, but you know, I did check these things out. So, you know, one of the things I did was I talked to Jim and said, hey, I'd like to try the Neos. Maybe let me put that in there and make this cabinet, you know, closer to about 60 pounds, which would be manageable. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, the other thing about these speakers that he sent me, um, they're cool. They're very different. They don't have the mid-range or upper mid-range presence that the standard E12, you know, classic E12 bag-end speaker does. Different animal. You know, first I didn't like them, and they kind of grew on me. They've got a really fat, solid... Uh, authoritative low end and you know he lets me know that these particular ones they can handle a stupid amount of watts so they're, they're they're not quite as sensitive they're not quite as loud but they're made to just you know throw a lot of watts at so i'm keeping these suckers and hopefully what i'm going to do is put them in some s12 cabinets i've already got one in, in one of my s12 cabinets already and it sounds pretty darn good you know matched up with uh, with an e12 you know, one of each but i'm going to put these suckers in the um in the d12 cabinet and see how light it is and what it actually sounds like one of the things I've noticed as I'm installing these Neo speakers is the outside of the basket is just a little bit bigger than the outside of the basket on these. And it's actually, you kind of have to just gently kind of push it into the, the hole because these are kind of rubbing right up against it. But those those clamps actually bring it down pretty well. So not a big deal. But for a second, I was like, gee, what's going on? But putting these things in a lot easier than kind of trying to manage these bigger speakers while doing all that and, and connecting the wires. Alrighty, test is kind of over. Play the Valenti, uh, you know, through, uh, through, let's see, we use a Mesa. We use the D100, or D800 Plus, rather. Straight up honest truth is that the Neo sound awesome. Really, really good. I'd heard that they uh, had less high end and more low end than the standard E12s. I'm not sure. I, I think they probably have a little bit more low end. The E12s that I have are a little bit tired. <laughs> but, um, Every bit is articulate, really. Just playing the cabinet by itself, I was like really blown away. It's like really articulate, really nice, uh, nice sounding. So those speakers are dynamite. You know, playing it in conjunction with the E12 and the um, and the bigger. I'm not sure what to call this thing. The, the big giant, you know, uh, 25 pound thing was pretty awesome as well. Though that you know that one uh, speaker it doesn't have the sensitivity, so you kind of almost want to throw another amp on it. But all four together sounded pretty cool. I did not try it with the 15s yet. Uh, but really cool and the other thing that, that that happened was this d12 went from being like a, a really heavy kind of unmanageable cabinet to extraordinarily manageable i mean it's got to weigh about 60 pounds but i was able to pick it up with one handle and that you know having it kind of like askew like that was not uh, uncomfortable or awkward or anything like that so you know getting it up and down the stairs into the car you know to gigs should be a snap you know so uh, i was kind of thinking of buying like a, a mace of like 212 or 215 but i'm, I'm really happy with this you know, so maybe I'll, I'll look for another one of these suckers, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll grab some more Neos. I'm not sure, but I'm having a lot of fun with the experiment. You know, it cost more than I wanted it to. Uh, there were lots of fits and starts with the whole thing, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm really, really happy with uh, how things turned out. And, you know, now I'm kind of looking for a couple empty um, S12 boxes to put those giant, uh, you know, heavy speakers in, because they do have, you know, they added something different. And, you know, I have to see what my, uh, my options are in terms of boxes. Um, to put them in. I'd, I'd rather keep them in back end boxes. I almost wonder if I could find an old blown uh, S15 and, and change the baffle or something like that or something like, you know, something else. Because I did talk to Jim and, you know, at back end, they did, you know, they could benefit from a bigger box. And uh, they used to make some pretty big uh, 12, uh, 12 inch cabinets. Maybe I'll talk about that sometime and show you the catalog. Uh, I'm not sure if, if I could find an old, you know, blown up uh, uh, TA12 you know, whether that bigger box would, would do those justice, but we'll see. 
Anyhow, now I have more stuff to uh, to go do and, and get, but sounds awesome. The end. <laughs>